how to use wix bookings step by step for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today i will be showing you guys how to get started with your own booking system on wix so let's get into it now this is my website over here it is a photography portfolio and i want to set up my own booking system now all you have to do is get onto your wix my site section and you will click on select site to begin opening it up in the wix website editor so you're just going to open up your website in your website editor from here what you're going to do is go on ahead and click on add elements and you can add any kind of element from over here so you will click on bookings on the bottom left and i will show you guys how to add them so you will just click on bookings and then click on add to site and this will automatically add wix bookings to your website so once you add this section this will add wix bookings there are other integrations or applications that enable you to create booking systems as well but i like to use wix bookings because it's already you're already using wix for your website and all so it just better helps integrate all of your services together now once you create wix bookings a new page will be created which will be called book online you can rename this page if you want i like to leave it as it is i think book online is pretty self-explanatory and it makes it easier for my customers or clients to be able to book me now you can begin editing from here or you can actually go back into your Wix My Site section and go into your Wix website dashboard. Now, using the dashboard can make it a little easier to set up your booking system. So I like to set it up for my Wix website dashboard and then edit it later on and make some tweaks on my actual Wix website. So once you have opened up the dashboard for your website, you will simply click on booking services over here. And once you've clicked on booking services, you can begin adding your uh, different services that you provide. So a sample service will be created once you add Wix bookings. We're just going to delete that. We will click on yes, delete. Now from here, you will just go into your booking services and you can begin adding the types of bookings that you do. So it's online coaching, one-on-one -on -one, or multiple participants. I am going to enter my booking sessions as one-on-one -on -one services because I do photography. So let's say for a photographer or let's say portfolio shoots. So we have model portfolio shoots. We can add some sample images. We can add a tagline. And then you will enter after your tagline, you can enter a detailed description. So in your tagline, you just want to make it, you know, simple and focused. In your description, you actually want to add the details of the service. So all of the different sub features of the service, how many people can be included, how long it's going to be, what, you know, what your pricing, scheduling, all of that basic information. Like, you know, uh, if you're doing a portfolio shoot, then you only are going to do it for one person. If it's multiple people, then they will have to book a different kind of service. So you're just going to enter that description over here then you can enter a location so instead of you know adding a specific location you can add a area where people can choose to locate and you know from within that area they can choose any location after that they have the duration so let's say that for a model portfolio shoot i do it for two hours and i keep a buffer time of around 15 minutes for each of my bookings then i will add the amount so you can make this fixed you can make it no fee you can add very prices so let's say that if it's for one person it could be only for 150 if it's for two people you can add a varied price as well then you have custom price so you can just add a custom price you can add like the prices start at this and then when the customer contacts you and asks you know the you know negotiates the deal with you then you can enter that but i will just enter a fixed price of 200 then you can enter the amount online so you can choose how you want to be paid let's say entire amount either in person or online or online deposit and rest in person and let's say i have a 50 dollar or 50 rupee booking deposit and the rest would be paid online then you can also offer memberships and packages but we're just going to keep that now if you are working in a larger business setup you can enter staff members so let's say i have a photography agency and i have multiple different photographers so you can set a separate schedule for each photographer or just add the staff availability for each one of those photographers and add that in the availability section i don't have any this is a singular person's portfolio or singular person's photography place i'm just going to add myself and then you're going to click on save over here 
And now you can see my service has been added. So if I go back into my Wix website, so if I click on preview and open up the website, it's going to refresh. Now it shows model portfolio shoots and that is it. Now, if I go back into my booking services, another very integral or essential part is to set your calendar. So you can go into the booking calendar and you have your basic calendar and staff. So as I said, if you have multiple people working and the booking schedule for all of them, you will be added over here in the staff section. If it's a one person thing, if you're just running the show, then it will just be you. So in your staff calendar, you can add multiple different schedules. If not, you can just enter your calendar. Let's say we do photography uh, seven days a week and for that we can add sessions or we can add any kind of blocked time which means you know specific times that we are going to be busy at you can also set up appointment hours so these could be hours that you work in let's say you don't do late night events or you don't do early morning events so you can add appointment hours and these will be the default hours whenever you are available to take these appointments or these schedulings now for photography i don't like to add booking or appointment hours or appointment time slots because a photography is you know one of those things that you know for wedding photography i'm gonna have to be there when i have to be there it's uh, somewhat of that sort you also can uh, customize your cancellation and rescheduling your wait list and so on and so forth if you have something like a therapy clinic or a doctor's website and you want to set up uh, bookings for that then you definitely should add appointment hours because obviously as a doctor you probably work nine to five if you have one of those bookings that you want to set up then go into your appointment hours and once you're in your appointment hours enter the time that you open up your shop or your clinic maybe it's a tattoo artist so maybe you open up shop at nine so you're going to enter nine and let's say you are open from nine to five and that's going to be your time and let's say you take Fridays and Thursdays off and you're on on Saturdays and Sundays and so on and so forth you can enter that you can also enter lunch breaks within a time period as well so let's say we're open from 9 to 1 we open at 3 to 6 so in this way you can also schedule your breaks within your staff calendar or within your booking calendar and once you click on save now if I go into my website over here and I click on book online over here you can see these services and I can click on book now and currently obviously because I haven't finished the setup process it's not available but in this way you can set up your own Wix bookings as an individual or a larger corporate business as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video